Echo Base X-Wing mission debriefing. I'm Walker Darko with me, Jake Ream. Hey everybody, how's it going? And Kevin Lights. Hey, isn't episode five, not six? Uh, I can't remember. It's five. Episode five <laughs> of Echo Base X-Wing mission debriefing. I'm Walker. Oh, okay. I was just jump ahead. All right. So tonight we got a match between Morgan Reed, who is uh, we said it last time, former runner up, runner up, according to the Foss Twins, the best player in Australia. And we've got his opponent tonight, Andrew Bunn, who is a Minoc Open semifinalist, 2017 top four North America, 2018 top two North America, probable 2019 North American champion, if you follow the trends. So it should be a good match. Um, also, I'd like to note, according to chat, uh, Morgan Reed is the people's champion. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, whoa, but whoa, 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 whoa. to get into the Aces League. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold stop. on. Hold Every on. Every world's runner up is the people's champion. No, because I was the people's champion, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. That's how it works. All right. I know this because Ricky declared it when we were on the podcast. But yes, he is. He is. Okay. I just wanted to. <laughs> it's important. No hard feelings, I'm sure. All right. Continue. Uh, Telling everyone how great Morgan is. <laughs> oh, just, just was uh, making a note that uh, he had to play his way in to get into the Aces League. Um, and that's why. They're calling him the People's Champion. Even though he won the last season of the Aces League. Ricky chose not to invite him. Harsh. Yeah. Well, you only get what you what, what you earn. <laughs> you only get what you earn in taxes or theft. So Thank you, Zach. Got... <laughs> also, what, top four national North America? Yeah, I don't know. Didn't he do really well at one point? Yeah, he's been really good lately. I mean, a lot of it's been... I don't know, I haven't paid attention at all because it was the end of first edition, so whatever. But yeah, Andrew's a really good player. And Morgan's a really good player. That's why we chose this game. And uh, interestingly enough, there are not very many games in, with just two ship lists, and I have never seen one in second edition with two ship lists, and now we literally have two two ship lists, so... And the nice thing, too, is there are the factions that are now being reintroduced, so we get to kind of see a little bit of play of how they look in 2nd edition. Yeah, but seen, besides the uh, triple Upsilon shuttles, I've never seen any of these ships on the board, so it'll be cool to see it. I have run Poe Ray, not 2nd edition, but well, I still I think do. someone should try to make Poeing Rain a thing, but mm. I just, I like the names, I'm sorry. It's thematic. <laughs> it's yes, thematic. That's that's about it. As is Kylo Ren and Star Killer Pilot. Although it's not Star Killer Pilot, it's Lieutenant Tabson, who I don't actually know what he was in lore, but I couldn't tell you either. <laughs> I just know that when he gets shot, he gets to perform an action. Speaking of that, uh, why don't we go through um, what these guys are flying? Uh, so Andrew is playing Kylo with supernatural reflexes, prime thrusters, and proton torps, and a naked Tabson or Tabson uh, up shuttle, and he's bidding a minuscule twenty-seven points. Uh, Poe is being played by Morgan with heroic <laughs> R four astromech integrated S foils, black one proton torps. Ray with Brilliant Evasion, Rose, Finn, and Ray's Millennium Falcon title, and he was bidding an aggressive 14 points. So, um, you know, I'm just going to start by saying I really hope that the game does not come to this, where we are bidding um, almost 30 points. Jesus. Or anywhere near that. I cannot help but agree with... Uh, how that is super unhealthy for the game, and I hope we don't ever see this long term. Yeah, this is uh, almost said, worse than first edition <laughs> bidding. Um, this makes first edition bidding look like a joke. Yeah. This well, twenty-seven points. First edition, you're looking at what, thirteen and a half, fourteen points. That's an eighty-six point list. That is your Echo Whisper. Pre nerf. 
pre nerf. Pre nerf. Before before a lot of stuff that would destroy double phantoms later on. But we, I'm just saying that we're in that spot that we're the first time FFG yeah. said, yeah, we need to fix this. That's where yeah. we're at for bids. Um, I will say though, in second edition with the changes, like you no longer have the title like you used to have on the Upsilon, so Kylo can get hit. But at the same time, he kind of has more shenanigans than he had before, and he has passive mods, which he never had before. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. I, I personally think Morgan has the upper hand, believe it or not. A, because he has a 6 against Kylo, but B, because he has two very effective combat ships, and Bun only has one. I mean, the shuttle's effective, but it's not as effective as a turret is. And it's not as versatile as a turret. So I think right off the bat, Morgan has the upper hand, even though Kylo is moving after Ray. Uh, quick thing think? there, Kevin. Um, can you switch the the two names around on the list overlay? Oh, sure. If uh, Morgan is going to be on our left side, we'll get that switched. And then just a little side Done. thing where I was saying we didn't know who Lieutenant Tavson was. He is the guy that was sitting there with Kylo Ren over his shoulder telling him to fire all the guns on Crate. Oh, that's the guy. <laughs> that's okay. the guy. So they've all been in the movies. <laughs> so right. two so very thematic lists. Loaded, Jake, so we're good to go? Yeah, I think uh, we're all set. Uh, looks like Vassal is mostly happy tonight. Um, hopefully we won't run into any problems going through this. But uh... Yeah, I did skim the log. Uh, I didn't pay attention to the game. I just literally didn't put up the map and hit page down until I saw the lock had ended and then I pulled the map up and there was like one little section of lines but there's not a lot and they weren't near it at the end of the game so it shouldn't be an issue I don't think um you know what I can because I have them I will post the squad lists or should I just yeah I'll just post them in the chat yeah just put them in the chat that'd be a great spot for them that way everybody so, can take a look at them there's one so the, the reason we don't have the, the full squad list on the overlay is there's an issue um, with the overlay web source uh, when importing the XWS. So that's why we went with just yeah. the basic look tonight for you. Yeah, specifically with the Falcon. I don't know what it was. I was trying to figure it out for about 20 minutes, but it looks like the Falcon just isn't incorporated in yet because it kept yeah coming up with a bunch of XWS errors when I was trying to use the Falcon. So yeah. We had to use the first edition one and kind of adjust it. All right. I will uh, keep skimming through here. Looks like they're almost done placing their obstacles. Yep. So we're getting a nice line of rocks through the middle of the board to help interfere with the shuttle. Um, I, while they're setting this up, I really like what Morgan did with this build. I super don't agree at all with uh, Mr. Farmer when he made his comment that you just put the arcs to the sides and you don't use Ray as a four dice gun with Finn. Um, I get that he wants to try to get three ships, but I really think Ray is more effective when she is pointed straight at its target. I mean, you can use the arcs, but I think uh, the premium of a four dice and her ability will help add extra hit points and damage that you know, I think you can't discount mm. that mm -hmm. so i like that morgan also felt mm -hmm. the same way so bun is trying to get kylo into a spot that blocks the shuttle it looks like yeah it looks like he was just uh doing some measuring there making sure he had the exact right positioning okay and then yeah i like that morgan is like am i gonna come at your shuttle the secret is he's really not gonna come at the shuttle. <laughs> Uh, right. I'm so excited to see Poe play. Looks like uh, they have everything deployed and they're going to be setting set dials, dials here. All right. And Ray looks okay. So the blue indicators for the Falcon are forward and backwards to indicate the arc. Yep. Yep. Okay. So he's starting with them forward and backwards. Makes sense. So just All a right. quick question then. So if. And I'm just, this is just me trying to figure out my second edition rules. If you use Finn in second edition to add a blank result mm -hmm. 
And then rows, you can spend a result, which I'm assuming is a blank, to add a target lock. You've now spent that and lost that dice, correct? You can't just reroll that thing? Yep. Okay, I just want to make sure, because that would be broken, I think, if well, you could well, just be like, well, spend nice it and though, roll. What's nice, though, is like, let's say on defense, you roll and you just roll blanks. You could spend one of those and get a target lock. So you could get on the defensive with shot and then use it again on offense, which is, is flexible, which is cool. So you don't sure. have to have Finn to get it. And it's a little bit more reliable than, oh, I rolled a blank on offense, now I get my target lock. But yes, you're correct. You would have had already spent it. But in theory, like, let's say you blanked out. You could add the blank, take the blank away, get the target lock, and then if you really wanted to, you could just re-roll all of them. So you could use it on that same attack. Sure. I like it. All right. Makes all right, us so not hate rows. Yeah, well, and it's, it's a cool <laughs> thematic thing, right? You know. Well, really I think it's there. just I think the mouse told FFG you have to make Rose decent so people won't ha hate her so much, and that's where we're at right now. Hey, you Wal Walker, can you win turn by your, loving things? Can you turn your mic down just a little bit? I Maybe. Think, uh, I think that's they did better. a good job with second edition, really capturing the theme. They, you can tell they made a real effort to try to get theme. Which is cool, like the Black One title now. Although I really liked it in first edition, it's really thematic in second edition, and it's it's also pretty cool. All right, looks like uh, we've got dials set. Um, any thoughts, quick, on what we think uh, each player is going to do for the opening turns? Um, Morgan's going to play kind of a uh, cheeky, we'll call it like the Australians do, with Poe to see if the shuttle commits to the bottom of the board or if it tries to go kind of straight. Um, so I'll wonder... probably slow the first turn there with Poe just so well, he can I go... I think he actually does like a three bank left and sits behind the rock. Or I suppose because he could stall this turn, he maybe goes slow. But his goal will be to pull the shuttle out and then get the hell away from it. Yeah. And then uh, what about uh, Falcon up top there? Just probably skirt along that port edge on the outside think, of the yeah, rocks. Yeah, you slow roll it, waiting for the shuttle. I think this is all about the shuttle committing. Uh, and then just kind of avoiding the shuttle if possible and then having whatever engagement you can get. Sure. All right, well, let's uh, get onto it and see what happens here. So, sh right, so the bump. Oh, no. No, one bank. Player. One bank, yeah. Oh, okay. He's coming for Poe. So we see the commitment immediately. Yeah. All right. The reinforce. And Ray, two forward. Two forward, okay. Not as much of a slow roll. He oh. must have expected that he wasn't going to slow roll and just bump. Yeah, and then he boosted as well. Yeah, and that's stressful now. Yeah. It is, but yes. But she has title, so she can still... She doesn't technically have to clear it. Yeah, isn't yeah. on the scavenged, isn't the uh, the boost and the rotate both red actions? Yes, they're both red actions, but this ray is probably not going to be changing art very frequently. Right. And she's okay. got, what, ray's falcon, so if she does a... She can have up to two stress, get... yep, and she can rotate even and boost when stressed. Right, so... Got a two turn out of Kylo there, which causes a bump. And Poe uh, one forward and then barrel rolled. So he's got the S foils closed to start with. Yeah, which is pretty standard. Yep. Okay, so Andrew's planning to go along the bottom of the board. All right. So, yeah, I think a pretty. Smart. Pretty common open engagement there, uh, both just kind of doing some sh slower moves to feel each other out and see where exactly they were going to end up. Pretty pretty normal. Yep. Uh, I think we're going to probably see why the two bank out of Ray to start to get around into clear stress. Is that two bank blue? Uh, yeah, it is. Yes. On the okay. Yeah. It's a two One and two so forward and two bank. bank. That's it. Yeah, so it's probably a two bank. I'm just curious to see uh, if he launches Poe forward, uh, or if he tries to like three bank around the rocks. Kind of brings Poe back up towards the top of the board to maybe converge with Ray at the same time. Well, I think Ray is going to probably try to get the flank. 
looks like we've got a three bank out of Tavson there coming up through that opening in that lane. In course front, okay. Two bank is expected, and I think they're just out of range. I'm still really rusty with Basil's yeah. ranges. It, I would say they're probably at like three and a half. Yeah, if I had to guess, close, I think just out of range currently. Yep. Which is right where Ray wants to be. Wait, did we? No. Secondly, I thought he flew Kylo off. I, I think. No, I think he tried to supernatural boost. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say, well, this game's gonna go great. <laughs> yeah. Kylo flies off turn two. Yeah, that was a like you said. I think supernatural boost. Oh, failed boost followed by his maneuver. Not okay, cold. yeah, so yep. a four forward barrel roll. Yep. yep. And then a, using Poe's ability to boost. Yep. Okay. So using Poe as yeah. bait there. Yeah, that's typically what, yep. what I would expect Morgan to do with the ace. Especially uh, aces that can... In, the, in this situation, do any turns and moves that they need to do for stress because he has R4 on. Yep. So flying very similar to Sintir. So speaking of R4, I know we've been talking about that, Kevin, um, and you've mentioned that you don't think R4 is the correct astromech for Poe. Nope. I think R4 is the easy astromech for Poe, and I think it's not the higher skill level astromech. I think BB-8 is. I think everyone's going to jump to R4 because it's easy and they're going to want to play Soontir or play Poe like Soontir. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, eventually they will realize that he is not Soontir. So you're and R4 is the cheapest. R4 is the cheapest. So you're and advocating for a BB, huh? In the bid game. Sure. I also don't want to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> and as we saw right here, it doesn't matter how many points you bid because you're never going to get near 27. At least with resistance, you won't. Jeez. So, I mean, like, even if you tried to bid, as you saw, like, Morgan tried to bid 14 points, and that was, like, laughable. She's going to have to run a naked ray. Yeah. Which which might end up being the title of the crates page in a week. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think people are going to jump to R4 immediately to be the natural play Poe kind of, like, soon tier. But I, I think with Black 1 and with BB-8, the options you have are far greater. And I think at high level play, the options, in my opinion, are going to be what, if you can handle the skill that re is required for it, are going to set players apart from others. Yeah, BB-8 gives, gives you a lot more uh, utility out of Poe as opposed to that uh, well, just having the blue turns. Because really, that's all the R4 Astromech adds is blue two turns. Well, and but look that's at it this way. Kind of to fly him like soon tier. Well, so you can get that sure. second maneuver that's red, your old school push the limit, then you can clear it. Yeah. Right. But but look at it this way. Okay, if you're using R4, I know I know what you're doing. Right. If you're not using R4, I actually have to guess. Yeah. Are you going to shenanigan in and turn? Are you gonna do a booster barrel roll with su basically supernatural reflexes and then use black one and flip? Uh I mean there's there's a lot of options of where Poe could be. Yeah, and BB-8 effectively gives him supernatural reflexes and allows him to use his abilities, so you can still get that double action just like you would with um, mm. R4, but you won't be stressed. Granted, it's not as flexible and you have limited usage of it, um, but I believe in key moments of the game, moments like that are what yeah. win and lose games. Yep. And if you can give yourself the opportunity to make your opponent make a mistake or guess incorrectly, that's giving yourself an advantage. So that's why I feel really strongly that I think BB-8 is the better call. So what if you could give Poe, let's say, a different astromech, but still have uh, pre-maneuver positioning or repositioning through the way uh, of I coordinate? I would go back to regen then. Yeah. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much what I was asking is if, you know, the resistance has some pretty reasonably priced A-wings that have um, two talent slots, and I think I had heard it discussed about putting, um, was it the Swarm Leader on 
so that way you can Storm cord tactics. or well no uh, what's the one that um you can it oh, gives you red cord leader. squad leader that's the one i was thinking of yeah uh no uh <laughs> pose your flanker and Poe shouldn't be giving up his actions because his actions are more valuable than anyone else's. No, no, you don't. Action. You don't put squad leader on Poe. You put it on to an A wing oh, that can court to feed him eh, actions. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I heard that on the Minoc cast. Yeah, just something think to think about. I think that's cute. Uh, I don't know that it's good though. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's, let's uh, heroic comes up. <laughs> yeah. What do we we see in uh, Tavzin? Probably just continuing on forward. Um, well, does Kylo go fast to try to get a flank here? Yes, Kylo's gonna probably go fast because Ray can't commit into the rocks. Yep. Unless Ray like sleeps, um, and Poe, no matter what, can't get turned around to shoot this turn. So I would see it as Kylo has an opportunity to be aggressive here. Mm -hmm. um, and be safe. I think the shuttle's probably gonna go fast too to try to keep away from Ray, since Ray might not be able to shoot unless she rotates arc. That'd be my guess. And Poe is probably going to, like, free, free straight boogie. Get up and around. Yeah, Poe's got to beat it and re-engage. There's no way he's getting into it where he's at now. Yep. All right. Here we go. Three straight out of Tavson. Mm, I'm going to double check. He did a three straight, right? Three straight, right? Uh, yeah, that is what the dial says, yes. The fastest. Okay. I didn't know if they had a four. Did they used to have a four? Um, the Upsilon? I don't. I didn't play the Upsilon in first edition, so I can't I say for sure. Okay, I was just curious if they had a four forward. But okay, so three. Yeah, that's about what I expect. And is he choosing his action? Um, looks like he's, he's target locking, locking Poe. Po, yep. Okay, so he feels confident that Ray is probably not going to be shooting him. Yep. And, and to answer your question, no, they did not have a four. Okay. Three forward and a boost out of Ray. Okay, so I like that Ray is trying to expose the front arc yeah. uh, in case Kylo tries to turn in early. Um, and I think a two bank next turn might not put the debris. Maybe. Hmm. Might that back well, corner that's where Tavson's might. Tavson's kind of stuck because Tavson can't really do anything next yeah, turn. Yeah, I like turn. that Ray is in a really good position to get behind him yep. and then just sit behind him and slam him with dice. I think that this is a really good place for where Ray is. I like yep. where Morgan's at. And yeah. actually, it looks like the Upsilon dial did not change from first edition to second edition. Okay. So even the, I mean, the blues are still, the greens are blue and the reds are red. So is that was that a supernatural boost that we just saw? Yeah, correct. Supernatural boost out of Kylo, and then we're seeing a two turn. And then he's probably going to barrel roll out of arc. Yeah, lock, and then he's going to roll left, is what he's saying. Yeah, I could have looked. Are they are they just like the regular interceptor where they can link to any booster barrel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They have the same of the auto thruster ability. Okay. So Ray will not get a shot this turn, and he'll take like a range three obstructive. And Poe did a two bank boost. It looks like. Yep. Two bank and then boost and roll. Yeah, to create more space so he's not getting shot. Yep. So it looks like Kylo's got our only shot. Yeah, it looks like it. Range, range two. Two. Ray. two and clean-ish. I bet you this is where they draw the line that I mentioned. Yeah, probably. Yep, yeah, range two, clean. So not obstructed. Oh, wow, that's pretty close. And yeah, looks like it's range two, but also range two in arc. Yep. All right, so we're arc. gonna see the torp get fired off as well. Yep, that is what he's shooting. Yep, and he rolled uh, hit focus on the first four, and re-rolled. So, so he rolls the three crits after he spends he, the force. Yep. <laughs> well, luckily, Ray's got some shields. Yeah. Morgan's, I see his uh, defense dice have carried over from the previous game. Yes, they're still good. <laughs> Rolls and evades, so he just takes two shields. All right, I'll update that. Um, so this is kind of interesting to talk about, right? Um, so Supernatural is off this turn. 
And Ray actually has some options because she can still boost when stressed. Kind of. Like if she does like a one bank. <sighs> hmm. This actually, this next turn will be really interesting to see what happens with uh, the Upsilon. Well, now Ray moves before Kylo, so that's going to limit a little bit where she can go. Yeah. You know, she can't, if she uh, banks in and, and tries to boost bank to the right, Kylo's going to be sitting there in the way. It's really hard to tell, again, because I'm not used to Basil, but does, like a, does a three hard from the Falcon not clip that debris? Um, I, I think a three hard would fit. Yeah, I do too. I wonder if that's what Morgan's going to do. I mean, like with the... Ray might get another turn of no shots. Um, but a really good position. But really good position, and Kylo probably won't be shooting her. And then Poe is allowed to continue to, you know, just continue doing what he's doing, getting his position where mm -hmm. he wants. So yeah, that line unfortunately will remain there, but that was the only line that I had seen, so hopefully it doesn't bother us too much this game. Okay. We are on turn four of nineteen, so we got some time. Yeah. And this is an aces game. I'm gonna bet that it goes to time. Oh yeah. <laughs> when you're running Poe, which if you're running him like Suntier, the whole point is not getting shots. Yep. Ooh, Tavson's coming in. Yeah, so yeah, let's see if, if Poe does that hard. cutback one bank barrel roll. That'd be really cool to see this. Fits this so turn. well. Yeah, that was really good spatial awareness by, <laughs> by Cinnamon Bun. Yeah. Was Both, that a three hard? That was, yeah. Both of them. Oh, I mean, yes. That, plenty of room there between that uh, debris cloud for Ray. Yep. I mean, it sucks that you don't get to shoot again this turn with Ray, but position wise, this is really good. He rotates arc with the title. Oh, wait, you can rotate it. That's right, I forgot. Not yep. only can you boost Because her shot, title lets you do it. Yep. That's Even awesome. When okay, so he, he will get a shot. Yeah. And we're up to two stresses. Cool. Yeah, but Ray, Ray's got force. The stress doesn't really bother too yeah, much. Yeah, she's got her passive mods, and she's got the ability. And her title works with two or fewer, so her title is still working. Yeah. So, like, he could just two bang next turn and then still rotate if he needs to. Yeah. I like that a lot. And Kylo yep. turned in, uh, ended up bumping Ray there. So yep. at least Kylo is safe. safe. Now Morgan turned away. I'm actually kind of surprised here. Um, I suppose I'm thinking with BB-8. Like with BB-8, you would have been able to turn in and then just sit in front of the rock if you need to because then you could just pre-barrel roll away from yeah. it. Um, but Morgan playing really conservative. The only downside here is uh, you know where Poe is going to be next turn, and that's a lot of dice coming at him from that shuttle. Mm-hmm. So looking so at range got range three looks clean. Yeah, yeah, it looks clean. I like that they did the purple arc. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, Ray is oh. Mace Windu's kid. Morgan's confirmed. dice just on fire. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they carried over from last game. Oh my gosh. Seems legit. <laughs> oh, and and he's gonna add a target lock so too. It looks like. So. Three damage. And then since he's stressed, he can't perform the actions that he would normally be able to. Right. And I just noticed that I'm going to update the name yeah. of the pilot. Um, my name is Jack. Uh, we posted the two lists in chat a couple minutes ago. Um, if you need them again, let us know. Uh, the overlay for these lists do not work. So we had to just kind of use generic um, YT and X-Wing over or chips for the overlay i'll repost them okay yeah because with twitch if you log in you can't see the old chat so oh, yep. sure all right so that was the only shot so three shields were taken off so the upsilon is now at nine health only only nine only nine but we're getting through those shields which means yep which means real damage comes in now kylo is in kind of Ray. a weird spot um yeah kylo assuming I mean, could... ray jumps over the top 
he could supernatural backwards with a barrel roll and like card one left and sit behind her. Yeah. But if she does a two bank and rotates the arc down, that's four dice coming at him. So I'm going to guess that Kylo probably bails like, and tries to gang up on Poe. Rolls out with the, uh, and then maybe like four forward. I'm thinking like, yeah, like a, a, a four or five forward or like a three bank or something like that. Yeah. Like I think maybe he barrel rolls down towards where Ray currently is and does like a five forward and then boost and tries to come around. So taking the long way Cause, around the outside. Right. Cause his win condition effectively is I need to kill Poe. If I can kill Poe, Kylo can more or less dance around Ray and slowly whittle her down. Yeah. yeah well, Poe and Kylo are your end game ships. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. So we're just waiting for dials as they're setting them. Uh, another thing, too, will be um, can Kylo get the second torp off? If you can get both torps off, that's usually probably a win condition, I'm guessing. I need to look at the greens in the Upsilon. I don't remember them. So uh, I can't one bank. So yeah. we're probably going to see like a two bank or... Yeah, we're probably going to see a two bank out of that shuttle. You don't think a one forward just to keep Poe? I mean, you yeah, because you kind of know. Poe could too hard and then barrel roll back and be out of arc. I think he has to mm. two bank. Two bank left then. Yeah, because if he if he just does like a one forward and Poe does it too hard and then comes back, I think he's out of arc. Let's see, we're still waiting on Buns. So yeah, Buns got to figure out where the heck. Kylo is going to be. Yeah. I believe, Jake, this would be those instances where you see me taking a while to set a dial and thinking <laughs> about what I'm going to do because you have to visualize all the possibilities. Right. You know, there are other There's players also... that do that. Uh... You post up Captain Morgan style on a chair, so you just. Yeah. <laughs> I did that to myself. While you're grabbing your dial. I thought that was yeah. the uh, Foss power stance. It was the Foss power stance. Yep. I have a picture <laughs> of me doing that against Marcel before I beat him. Thank you, Paratus, for the follow. Appreciate it. I'm really interested to see what Bun does this turn with Ray, given the circumstances that she could turn that arc on him. He has to really be careful. Yep. And Bun is known for really good ace play, so I'm really curious to see what, what Bun does. All right, looks like we might have dials. They're down for now. All right, so are, are we all in a consensus that Poe is probably going to too hard in, right? I mean, I think he, I think you have to there. Um, you, you've played the game of using Poe as bait for a little bit. I think now it's time to turn it, turn him in and get some guns on target. Um, did Poe have proton torpedoes? He does. Yes. Yeah. He, yep, him and Kylo both have proton so torpedoes. So if you can get both Ray and Poe shooting at that Upsilon this turn, you can take a huge chunk of health out of it. The only thing, though, remember the ability... He gets to take an action if you deal damage to him. Yeah, sure. So Poe could hit him, but or Ray could even hit him, but that's possibly just going to set up a focus target lock shot back, and sure. that could really, really, really hurt. Because let's not forget, it's four to five dice. If it's yeah, one. yeah. That's true in a two, two bank plus the turn in. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. Yeah. I mean, he could one bank, but... I think he's going to have to try to clear that stress. Okay, Tavson goes one forward. Wow, one forward. Okay. Maybe I have the mind of an ace. You, well, you have <laughs> the mind of what to do with the shuttle, but I still think Poe's going to get an unanswered shot now. Question in chat, does he do black one slam right into him? Um, He could. You know what? That's a good thing I didn't think about. Yep. Um, He could have had he done the two bank. That's probably what you do. But I feel like in this situation, as Andrew, you almost make him, like, make him use it. You know, force that shot. Because if he yep. would have two banked, I think he might have not been able. It's hard to tell. But I don't think he would have been able to barrel roll out of arc. I think he was worried a little bit on that two bank to overshoot it and really limit himself next turn. Uh, sure. And that's possible. Because, I mean, those things do move, like... Well, they move a lot better than the Epsilon. Because you can too hard all day, right? But yes. yeah, you'll be doing a lot of stop maneuvers. So it looks like yep. Ray's just gonna sit right where she is, uh, with the one forward. 
So he wants to take away the option to just bail. And he already has his arc point in the right direction. Yep. That's an interesting... Clears the yeah. stress. Uh, I, That's, I don't yeah. mind that. Yep, clears the stress, but because he's stressed, still no maneuvers, but... Still, for, had really, well, not yeah. really, still has really good position. Kylo can't really get behind Ray. The shuttle is not going to shoot Ray, so Ray is in a really good place. I like I like this call from, from Morgan. Yeah. And let's see. Kylo dial reveals a one hard. So he was thinking about doing the supernatural backwards due to one hard. Yep. But now you gotta try to now boost gotta... out of range. Well no, he could just barrel. barrel into the front arc because she can't shoot. Yep. Oh, that's right, I forget that turns off. Yeah. But Ray is still in a really safe spot. Hard turn two but from I like Poe. this too. And Poe did the hard turn in. Yeah. Yep. I'm almost positive. Wow. Boosting. Well, no, he's in. gonna barrel roll next turn. Or uh boost roll. roll yep. Well. Yeah. Yep. So soon tier. Yep. And now he's setting up a potential kill box for uh Kylo. And I'm not sure why he's checking Bullseye. He might have just accidentally checked it. Because Poe doesn't have any triggers to go with Bullseye, so everyone knows. Alright, so this will be a range box shot. His S foils. Ah yes. Yeah, that's so probably... it does matter. Yep. Otherwise he would only roll two dice primary. Good call. Correct. I forgot that the S foils are different on the two seventies. Did he just roll four hits? Well, he rolled uh three focuses and a hit. And then he re rolled. Did uh, I think uh the turn before I think Poe had taken a target lock on Tavs, and I remember seeing that up there. Yeah, it's right there. So he was able to target lock into four hits? Yep. She, okay. Well, we know Morgan's got these hot little dice. Just They seem these to work good for dice. him, yeah. All right, so with one evade plus reinforce, he's only taken two shields, he's right? two, yep. All right. So shields are down on Tabson. Are they all down? Yep, that's all of them. Because reinforce doesn't let you add a result, does it? No, it reduces the damage by one. As long as it's not zero. So it would effectively add an evade in this situation. Uh, Chad is saying that reinforce right? didn't kick in. Oh, because uh, he's not in He reinforced his rear. Arc? That's why. He reinforced rear. It's, you have to be in his arc. Oh, he reinforced rear. Yeah. I just assumed he did the front. Yeah, oh. I did too. Looking at the token, yeah, it is definitely reinforced rear. There you yep. go. Oh, so okay. That's so, three, so we're down to hull. Yep. So everything after this is crits. All right. Wow, geez. Like, yeah, so yeah, so I, like I just crits assumed get he had done front. Yeah. I didn't think about it being the back. And Ray's got a shot. It's definitely through an asteroid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely range three, definitely through an asteroid, and definitely with reinforce. So yeah. unlikely to do mods, but might get the target lock from Rose. Now, actually, we see Morgan again with the really good vassal dice. He rolls focus, crit, focus. Spends um, full force. Yeah. Seems good. <laughs> but there's a chance this could get evaded. Um, blank, blank, focus. So spends the focus, reinforce, takes a crit. Yep. Yep. All right. And that crit Wait. is panicked pilot. Too stress. Oh. Too stress. <laughs> I'm not going to bother adding the crit to the overlay because we yeah. don't have that crit in first edition. So yep, just that's fine. Damage at five. And he's just going to get too stress anyway. Yep, so the Upsilon say... has, what, one forward, two forward, and two banks to clear those? Yeah, he's kind of stuck now. Which so also turns be... off his ability. Yeah, so this is effectively Kylo versus the list now. Yeah. And I, I, I'm pretty sure Kylo can't do it, especially with an I-6. And they're just clearing stuff out and going back is to Kylo set dials. Is six or is he five? No, he's five. They dropped him yeah. down. Suppose six. Suppose our de facto ace. All 
All right, so dials are set. Uh, so does Ray loop here, or does she just kind of go forward in front of Kylo, like two bank bump into him, and just stay there? Because if she hmm. sloops, she's got an interesting. She has the side arc already active, so she's kind of in an interesting spot. So sloop will put her right in front of Kylo, or on the bottom. Oh, no, I meant yeah, I meant sorry, sloop towards the bottom of the board. Hmm. Oh, she's stressed. But she can still do it. Remember, yeah, she has, to have she has the title. So raise Falcon. So yep. even if she has stress, she can execute it. Um, yep. So you could see a sloop possibly towards the bottom of the board. I think. Yep. Because that would expose some really nice coverage on the side arcs, and keeps Kylo from getting behind her. Interesting. All right, so he's going to too hard bump into Poe, it looks like. Yeah, the, the yeah. Shuttle. I, I had rolled yeah. it back because we were still talking a little bit. I just wanted no, it's to fine. make sure. Okay. So, but yeah, yeah, he's too hard and too bumps hard. into Poe. Bump. I'm assuming next turn will be a too hard as well, then. Not clearing anything, is it? No, it's white. Uh, Ray just uh, doing one forward. All right, so he's going to keep playing the I'm just going to stay behind you game. Okay. Keep yeah. that side arc. It's a good position, and your arc is in the right spot. I, why Probably not? doesn't have taps in anymore. No, but yeah, it, there's it, not a lot of good options for Kylo to pull shenanigans. He just kind of has to stay out of arc. Right. Which will possibly open him up to be in pose arc. But we're going to see looks a like supernatural, it yep. looks like. Yep, supernatural yeah. boost. Boost. Are we going to see like a... Too hard. A fast bang? Too hard, okay. So, stays out of away. the side arc, I think. They can't pull because the text is there. It looks like uh, Kylo should be out of Ray's arc there. Okay, I wonder if he's going to barrel roll. To... Yeah, he's going to probably take a target lock and yeah. then barrel roll backwards. Just to make sure. Yep, and uh, they do. Uh, Bun is saying that in the chat log that he's thinking about roll. So. Yep, makes sense. And he passed on it. Okay, so he chose not to stress himself. <sighs> Think he's gonna eat a torpedo with focus target lock right here. Three forward from Poe. Boosts. Oh, well, okay. So I don't know. The, I mean, he's keeping the bullseye arc for his primary shot. But... Yeah. And I don't yeah, know well, and I think if he had he arc there. He dodges arc. Yep. And he has arc for sure now. But we do see so a lock. Boosts. And Poe, does Poe still have both torps? Yes, he hasn't fired one yet. Okay, I wasn't sure if he wanted to save one for endgame shenanigans. All right, so yeah, I like that Morgan has to make a decision here. Do I spend the torpedo here with only a target lock against only one force or do i not hmm. looks like he just took a primary yep i, I like that call. and he didn't need to use yeah anything. and just rolls two <laughs> hits crit because Who needs i mean mods? yeah man morgan's dice Woo. and kylo rolls blank double focus or focus double blank i'm sorry so here's the tough spot too, right? Because he's going to spend the force yep. to take one less damage. He can't assign the condition like he used to be able to. Oh, yeah. Because he has to spend the force right. to assign yeah, that now. Yeah, you have to spend a force to do it. So now he's out of force powers and he can't assign the condition. Yep. And, and shields. And shields are now down too. So yeah. Kylo's down to four health. But and Kylo manages to slip Ray's arc there. I did do the paper trick. So, you, did. Okay. so you knew, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for yeah, Kylo. No more really tough spot here. Because uh, Ray's going to be full force now. Kylo's only going to have one force power left. Um, and Poke is just too hard if he needs to. Mm. <laughs> and this is a little bit where you're chat. probably feeling it that... 27 bid where you could have probably given your list a little more shenanigans a little more freedom yeah but yeah when i think you know morgan really did this well like he really executed effectively here well that is definitely one thing that now uh, watching the second game with morgan he is 
very, very good at executing his strategy and not making mistakes. Definitely top player. Yep. And chat's right. Morgan's dice also have oh, been yeah, there's no question. really, really good yeah. these last two games. Morgan's had zero blanks after mods. Or, well, he's had like a couple before mods, but he's had zero blanks after mods, right? On all his attack rolls? Yeah. This game, is everything has been uh, full hits or crits for Morgan. It's, which makes Andy being playing, playing out of a hole. Yeah, it makes a lot Even of though he's got that sweet, sweet bun coffee maker money coming to him. He's going to take a hit for the night. Would you say he's going to hit a wall? <laughs> I would have to say... Um... <laughs> ah, I got jokes, but they're all bun-related, and it ends up being more <laughs> butt jokes. I'm going to move on. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any uh, down-under jokes. I know. It's just it's so tough to use the... Um... It's only so many Australian jokes you can make. We made barrier reef jokes. I mean, <laughs> I just, I mean, I can't see the chat log. I'm assuming he's telling Andrew, like, he's going to make him his Joey, <laughs> shove him in his pouch. I'm not sure. No, they haven't said very much. <laughs> no, actually. no. Morgan's mainly apologized for his absurd dice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, chat. He's Australian, agree. not yeah. Canadian. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Every time he rolls just three crits, sorry. So we see uh, two hard there um, from Tavson, which w we anticipated get that swing that arc back around and get him back in the fight while he still has some health left. Yep, Ray's gonna come back around, rotate the arc forward. Yep, one bank from Ray and rotates. Yep. And I was really surprised, you know, when they announced the resistance, uh, that the resistance falcon has less health. I didn't expect that. Well, it is a piece of junk. I think it's sure. got a lot to do with that. I think it's a lot to do with the um, new satellite dish. Ah, oh, yes. So we see Lando a boost out of Kylo there. Yeah, as soon as Lando lost that disc, they couldn't do a thing with the dish. Okay. So Kylo's just getting out. Yeah, a boost which... then four forward. Oh, I'm afraid that He's basically oh, saying, no. okay, Poe, turn in and let my ups one shoot you. 4K, I'm sorry. It was not a 4 forward. He, he boosts oh. 4K'd. Okay, so he's trying to do like an all-in on Poe if Poe comes in. Yeah. So we'll see if, if Morgan kind of saw this coming. Um, Does not look that way. Poe is two turning in. Okay. Although, he's oh, him. no, I'm sorry. He's oh. two turning away. Morgan so read him like a book. <laughs> He saw that coming and said, I want none. No, oh, I think he went the wrong way. No, the the log says he was trying to do um, a barrel roll. I think he hit oh. the wrong key. Because if you look at the dial, he did dial in a two left turn with Poe. Okay. So failed action. So, so a bun was oh, trying bun to do a roll right a so morgan roll, yeah so morgan rolled his maneuver back uh i see that that chat is talking morgan up actually i did get i did watch morgan get fooled once that four <laughs> forward by a paul heaver sure fooled him on that final table just like it fooled everybody watching the game <laughs> So now we go back to um, Morgan's moves there with Poe, two turn and boost. Okay. I, th I think he can fit in a move next turn and not hit that debris, but boy, that's going to be close. Well, yeah, he actually, should be able to two turn, right? What's that? Poe should be able to two turn up and he won't hit that debris. I think so. I think because the yeah, guides yeah, are no, high I'm enough, sure. he should be okay. Yeah. yeah, I think as long as he doesn't go straight, he's good. Oops. But really well done not taking the bait. Yeah. So and, and now we're next turn possibly no Kylo do the crab block where he can use his <laughs> prime thrusters and supernatural to barrel roll to the side. Uh Kevin, you wanna post the list one more time? We've got another um request for it from chat. Smooth killer will get that up for you in just a second here. I can take care of it. Oh, Kevin's got it, never mind. Oh, 
Uh, oh, no. Carlo. Carlo with the assist. <laughs> assist from the chat. Thanks, Carlo. <laughs> Number one fan right there. All right, so yeah, no shots this round, so we're just playing around with dials now. I think. So is Ray in some trouble here? Clear some stress this round. Yeah. Yep, it's probably gonna two bank. Or just one forward. Or just one forward. So does uh, does Andrew switch targets here and go all in on Ray for a turn while? Poe is in a difficult spot for him to get to. Um, well, Kylo just has to play safe. That's really all that matters from Andrew's perspective right now. Sure. Um, so he knows where Poe more or less is going to be next turn. He has to kind of guess, is Morgan going to kind of turn Ray in and avoid the Upsilon and block that section between the two rocks and just kind of say, I dare you to try to bear a roll and stay there. Um, or is he just going to kind of proceed forward with Ray, inviting him to come in there, knowing that Poe, I mean, Poe can get there if he needs to. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. I really not sure what you do with Kylo here. So we've it's got kind of a tough spot. Mega turn Ray in. Yeah. Mega silver that from art. Chad is saying shot. Uh, three hard right with Ray. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Where if, if you come in, you throw him between those rocks. Yeah, okay. The only thing is, so here's why I say I don't think you do that. Because if you, so you're creating effectively a pincer, right, for Kylo. And if you throw her that way, he can just supernatural and do like a two bank. Yeah, so and you're I saying he can think supernatural. Will be shot at by her, and Poe will have a hard time. He would have to use Black One just to get all the way around. You're so saying if he effectively, he... I think, want to just try to create the the trap. So which but way are you saying that Poe is gonna, or that Kylo would supernatural? Oh, well, Kylo almost has to supernatural, or he's gonna hit that rock. No, I I understand he has to. But are you saying? Kylo supernaturals to the left and comes banks in between those rocks or goes r to the right and towards the board edge and then banks down in on the outside of those rocks because so what I think Andrew does potentially is he sets in a two bank because that allows him to barrel roll either direction and he'll respond to what Ray does sure I think think that's what he does yeah so two bank to the left but from the race perspective yeah you could you could dodge the upsilon's arc potentially yeah just skirt between those rocks but then you leave a huge opening where you have to guess like do i rotate my arc or not but, but i guess what i was getting at is then you have a situation where ray and poe are converging in the same spot and that's not what you want to try to trap kylo right you want a bigger net to try to catch him sure right because he can move his way out of most things Hey, we got yep. uh, Will Hegwood in the chat tonight. Hey, Will, how's it going? Are they still setting dials in, Jake? Yeah, they're, they're. This is another one of those Kevin Lights turns where they both take oh, a long time. Oh, you mean we time. have to think? Yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah. That happens. Where people start questioning if you're stalling. Yeah, those those games. <laughs> so. but yeah, I, I think as the Kylo player, that's because if you do a two bank, you could still potentially bruise. I mean. He's in a tough spot. Yep. All yeah. right, so does the shuttle stall or does it move? I'm guessing it's just going to one forward and stall so that you don't get in Kylo's way. And yeah. Give him options. Yep, let Kylo have all the space he needs to do all of yep. the tricks. Because if the shuttle goes forward and gets in Kylo's way, that broadcasts to Morgan where Kylo will be going. Yep. And you don't want to do that. And, and that's a good point, something to point out there, too, that things like that will do that. They'll give you uh, board state information for your ships later on if they're moving. Um, knowing you do that, a one forward with Tabson, you clear a stress, you don't really go anywhere, but yep. that's not a bad spot to be sitting for another turn. No, it's not. <clears throat> it's harder for Ray to get behind you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you only have that primary arc, so there's no shenanigans, really, for even if Tabson goes too forward. I mean, you're not turning around. Right. 
And from Actually, Morgan's as far perspective, back as you can sit is probably best. And from Morgan's perspective, he's somewhat okay shooting at the shuttle right now because it's not going to get the free actions right now. Yeah. All okay. Right. They right. are both so set. So, yeah, Tavson one forwards, keeping those options open for Kylo and that good position there. Two forward out of Ray and boost. Two forward boost. Okay, interesting. All right. I'm pretty sure Finn and everything will be active this turn, looks like. Yeah, should have at least have Finn some for Rose sure. Ray. Ooh. All right. So Kylo. Hmm. This is where we win an X Wing game by saving what we love instead of destroying what we hate. I'm excited. So the supernatural is probably going to be towards Ray, if I had to guess. Towards Ray, and then just clear to her side arc and be or safe. Or not? But nope. no. So is he going for a block on Poe, or just? Oh, he he dialed in the three arc. forward. Okay, so. three forward. All right. And then does he boost forward to get protection? Because if he does, yeah, there we go. Yep. So he's in a really safe spot where Pope can't really get to him. Makes sense. And hard right, turn. So Morgan does it too hard. Yep. And boost. And boosts. So and it's going to be two shots on the shuttle, possibly killing it this turn. Actually, yeah, five damage. Probably in there. Direct hit. He doesn't anything. have reinforce. Yep. Well, probably I mean, with, with the Morgan's way, dice. Yeah, with Morgan's <laughs> dice, I mean, that's definitely you're looking at six six damage coming at the shuttle this turn. Something I want to point out. Though, six crits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bossy the big crits. difference between the T seventy S foils and the T sixty fives. Morgan has had bullseye on almost every attack. Po I think on every attack Poe has had. Yeah, he hasn't checked it on every attack, but uh, just a estimation on just a few a of them yeah. yeah i want to i just want to point that out uh, for a couple reasons but s foils being one of them double focus blank might as well spend it yep the first blank that he has rolled on attack yeah after mods and still gonna take a damage yeah so it takes one yep down to four he's getting his three dice from ray but she can add the blank and do it sure shenanigans yep Three dice. Adding, he rolls uh, three focuses. And then it's not uh, good. Adding a blank for him. He's gonna Gets bank target, his lock. target lock. I'm surprised he didn't bank one of the. Does it have to be a blank in order to spend two force? Yeah, Rose uh, has to be. No, Rose a, just spends a result. a result. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, spent both force. It looks like to get two hits, so one through. Uh, no, I think he spent target lock. So did he re-roll it? And did yeah, so so he used Rose to get the target lock on the fin blank that he added, and, and then, then he re-rolled. Right yep. Okay. So, and then we'll spend one force. Of course he got two hits. Right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so three so through, which puts... Two damage, right? Um, let's Does see. Move? Blank on Tavson. Yeah, so three damage. So the shuttle's at one. Yep. At one, yep. Alive. Still alive. So he gets to shoot back. Four naked dice. Two hits, so two. blank focus. So Ray rolls on evade, so it takes one. So no more shields left, but eight hull. But Ray also can add a blank. Yeah, with Finn again. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And then he does doesn't do the trick. He does the trick. Oh jeez. Seems yeah. good. So, so Ray doesn't take any damage. Seems good. <laughs> and does yeah. So when does Ray get the reroll still like she used to or? No, it's just a spend force to convert one to one. Yeah. Okay. But it's any die, so you can change a blank to a, a oh, result. Oh, okay. That's where I was getting my head confused. I was thinking of it being a 
focus. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to be focus. It's raise ability is spend a force to change any die to a hit or a result. Actually, it's to spend a blank result. I don't know if you can spend... I mean, your force, obviously, you can just spend a force to change a focus. But I'm just getting my head right. Give me a second. Yep. (laughs) All right, so Kylo's kind of still in the runaway game here. Um... Chat's asking, does Ray sloop here to the left? I think so. I think because so. Because the yeah. shuttle's going to be off the board if he tries to block it. Right. Yeah, we and agree, then... Mega Silver. It's a good spot for Ray to just sloop right there. Yeah. I w- this is kind of where, though, I wish they still had their K-turns like they used to. I actually really enjoyed when I did play a little bit of Ray in first edition, uh, where you could... People always saw the sloop, so when you did a 3 or a 4K, they were always like, what? Yeah. Um, it'd be really nice if she could do a 4K right here. Just so that you have to make them guess. Like, all right, what do you think I'm going to do? Do you think I'm going to sloop, or do you think I'm going to K-turn? Yeah, and they completely remove those, right? Yes, there's no more 4K. Yep, no more. It's the 4 forward, which is also red, yep. uh, and no 3 or 4K anymore. It's just the sloops. Uh, chat's asking if uh, Tavson and the shuttle can two bank to the right and then hard two. I think he could two bank to the right and two hard and still be on the board. I think. Yeah, I think so too. I'm actually pretty sure he could. So in that case, do you almost actually try to sloop right instead of left? Well, so uh, with the... The uh, Ray's Falcon title, though, if he sloops, that will give Ray two stress, and uh, Morgan could still rotate the arc, correct? Well, he doesn't need to because it's already facing down. Yeah, but if if Tavson two banks to the right. Are you thinking the ship's right or our right from a viewer's perspective? Um, Well, it would be ship right. Yeah, if he if he does a two bank to block the left sloop, if you dial in the right sloop, you'd make it, and then you just leave the arc where it is. All right, so we see a two forward, or is that a two bank? Two bank um, to the right with Tavson. Okay, yeah, trying to block. Oh, you would block both sloops. Hmm. Oh, Vassal's facing. Yeah. That might have uh, even thrown Morgan off that, because though. in the chat log there he said, seems good. So he might not have anticipated that two bank right. The only thing he could have done, I guess, was like a three hard. Yeah, because he if slooped he, if he, if he left. Saw it coming. Yeah, nope, did going. not sense a disturbance. So yeah. for the sloop, yep. And that's really, really close there. I all, you know. He almost fit. Almost yeah. fit, yeah. So you I'm pull pretty... it back. You add a stress, but you still have Ray, so you can still take an action. No, oh, you can't and keep up. But there's still a no-fly zone for Kylo at least, or like a, right. I don't want to be behind you. Yeah, arc is set. So Morgan's not too sad about that. Although, uh, Ray's ability is not going to be active. Yep. If she gets to shoot. It'll be really interesting to see what Fun does here. Uh, looks like he does a one turn is what... <clears throat> really? Yeah. Wow. I guess I don't think so he's he'd rather there. eat a range one focus target lock shot from Poe than a torpedo. Sure, because there's less of a chance for crits. On Ray still, I, does Ray oh, still wait, shot? He boosted. Yeah, he, he barrel rolled and then boosted. Oh boy. I think Ray still has arc though. There. I do too. Ray does have arc, but will Poe be able to get arc with a two hard? I don't think so. Hmm. It's hard to. It's really yeah, it hard is. to tell with Vassal. We'll find out. But he can always uh, boost, right? So If he boosts, he might have a shot. But he might not at the same time. He well, or he can, he can boost and just put 
put those three dice into the shuttle. I mean, the shuttle's only on one hull. I don't think he'll get a shot at the shuttle if he boosts. Really? I don't think he has arc on anybody if he boosts. I, yeah, I think he just stays there and realizes that he's probably not going to get to shoot this turn. I mean, it's it's tough again. It's tough. Nope, to tell he boosted. Does he have a shot though? We will find out. He must think he does. Paco John's coupon. Oh, it's so close. No. No. Yeah, no shot. Yep. I was actually kind of surprised because he has R4 that he didn't just barrel roll backwards to make it so he has more space next turn to do whatever he needs to do. But, okay. So, Ray. Oh, wow. Ray has no shot on Kylo Is either. Is Kylo just out of arc? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, Walker, that's really maybe Bun close. was using the paper trick like you were. It's, <laughs> it's effective. It's not it's cheating like those on people the when you, when you can't in, see it. It's like people in real life when they, you see them like, going. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Allen watching when he saw Ray flip around. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ray has two stress, so Ray can still technically sloop this turn, too. Yeah. And I think that's what Ray does. But So, so this is uh, this is Kylo's shot into Ray there. And he yep. has a lock. So you, is he not spending the lock? Oh, he did. He re-rolled blank into blank. Okay, so he spends the lock in the force, but yep. still gets three. Morgan continues to have hot dice and only takes two damage. But I mean, we're in hull now. Yeah, when when you don't take damage, uh, you tend to win games. So I think Morgan's strategy of just rolling natties is working out for him. It is a valid tactic. Yeah, that was a really good play with Kylo there. Yeah. Now the shuttle's kind of stuck and is just going to probably die next turn. No matter what he does. I think, uh, Carlo, there, we would agree with you. Um, Bun definitely won that round. Oh, for sure. And we are nine turns in. So. Wow, we might we're not even not. halfway. Yep. Might not go to time? Okay. So chat wondering where where is Kylo go now? So uh, he has to guess if Ray is just gonna like three hard or sloop again. Um, I mean the shuttle almost has to hard turn left, right? It does not have a lot of options here. But what's Poe doing? Because I think that's gonna be the guess on Kylo. Because if Poe's um, gonna hard turn up, Kylo could kind of get behind him with a barrel roll and a little, but so it's I think tough. I think Andrew has to guess. It, like, if I, if I were doing this, I would really think hard about doing a three hard with Ray and blocking that area and still pointing my arc to kind of direct traffic. And then you make the decision right here to ignore the shuttle and come in after Kylo. Um, but here's the problem. You don't want to go very fast because he could barrel roll backwards and do like a one hard with Kylo. Mm -hmm. And if you tried to do like a two hard, it would kind of it would block you. I mean, I actually think with Poe, you just do a one bank and you say, no matter what, I'll have a shot at the shuttle. And if Kylo tries to get tricky, um, you know, maybe he voids me this turn. But if you commit to like a two hard and Kylo does play that trick, you might not get a shot at anybody. And I mean, I guess Ray would still get a shot out the back, but I, I think with Bun, you, you have to try to get conservative here or, or gambly. And maybe do like a a barrel a supernatural barrel roll in hard one and try to either get behind Poe or block Poe's moves. And chat's saying does Poe just 4K? You could, but then you're you're all inning and you're sitting range one behind that shuttle, assuming Ray doesn't kill it, which she probably will. Um it's kind of a guessing game. But I feel like you could just take the one bank with Poe and be conservative here and just say, you know what, I'll get a shot at the shuttle no matter what. Yep. And then you're allowing Ray to get into a position where she might have a shot or she can get into a better spot for next turn, and then Poe is helping set the net. 
Whereas a 4K is just like all in that Kylo's going to try to pull that trick. Yeah. We got Morgan Reed in chat, <laughs> and he's agreeing Morgan with you for the one say. bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, right, well Morgan likes the one bank po option. <laughs> there's a reason we both went to the final table. <laughs> yeah, you played very, very well this game, Morgan, by the way. Yep, so here's the supernatural hard one in. Or wait, why did he move Kylo before Ray? What, whatever. Uh, he coordinated a barrel roll to Kylo from Cavs. Oh, he Cavs coordinated it. Yep. Mm, sure, I forgot about that. Man, I need to start playing more games. So we saw the three hard. Yep, makes sense. I like that a lot. And two hard from oh, Kylo. I'm really liking that one bank. If Poe does the one bank here. And he, even Bun was uh, calling it out in the chat log there that he, he's asking whether he did the one bank or two turn. So he knows po, or, uh, Poe's coming for Kylo, and Kylo could be in a world of hurt. Oh no, he did the too hard. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is why I'm the rebel player and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Trolled by Morgan. <laughs> I think okay, though in so that position. Bun guessed correctly. I th yeah, I think in that position though, both moves had uh, very valid option or were very valid options. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rebel rookie. <laughs> Uh huh. So we're gonna see Ray for sure kill that shuttle, um, but she might take some unwanted pain. Range two shot at the shuttle. So no matter what dies. Hit crit. And the crit was fuel leak. So mostly irrelevant since the ship is dead. Yep. All right. How much pain does Ray get here? Um, Poe, and because of Tavson's ability, um, he jammed Poe to get rid of the lock, the target lock that uh, Poe had on Kylo. That's that's cute. I like that. That's effective. Okay. Man, that's that's really good if you think about it. Yeah. That's really good. Kylo. Pulls three blanks and a focus. Uh, okay. Uh, there's three. Yeah. Spends locked for three. And he continues to roll good. All right. So two damage. So race down to five. Yep. <laughs> okay. So I just want I just want to say this. <laughs> BB-8 would sure be nice right now. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. He would have been nice last turn, too. Yeah. Just saying. Um, but these are the types of things that I was talking about. Like you, the flexibility. You know, it's so nice to have a supernatural ace. Well, what if Poe happened to have a supernatural yeah. ace? Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. And, and really, even though, you know, with the supernatural aces, we see them using it almost every turn. If you just get in the mindset of you have two uses for the whole game and you you wait for those very key moments to use it, I, I think. Uh, the two charges on BB-8 are more than enough. That and it's thematic. God, it's so good. It's thematic. All right. So, like, Ray sloops here, right? Do you really have to think about it? I, I just assume Ray's going to sloop. Yeah, with where Kylo is, I think so. You're, you're making a really strong kill box there. If you sloop with Ray, get turn her ability on with two force and Poe well, following and Kylo. This massive area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Kylo if, has a hard time escaping. Yeah, and if Kylo tries to get cute, you can just be like, well, if you get cute, Poe doesn't shoot, but I'm going to shoot you, and I effectively roll four dice, mm -hmm. so... 
So Kyle has been trying to get cute for so long. He thinks orphans are cute, so he's just working on making himself. So for Kylo, if you're expecting that Morgan is going to sloop with Ray, do you dial in a really fast, like four or five speed, and use Supernatural to cause a bump so you avoid shots from at least one of the two ships? I don't think a five forward will clear a sloop, though. I need to Boost. look at their dial really quick. Boost five forward. So they don't oh. have a one bank. Um, so here's the issue, right? Um, if if Ray shoots at you, if you can force it into a range three, you're you're effectively rolling equal number of dice. Mm -hmm. If Poe shoots at you, you're probably only going to roll three dice, and he's probably rolling a four because he's. I mean, he has to get a lock again, but he's probably range one. So mathematically, you'd rather have Ray shoot you, although it's still not great. Um, you can't run away from both of them, especially if he plays this correctly. Um, I really don't have a great answer here. Like, I guess you could you could maybe like pre boost forward three hard and then barrel roll, but I think if she sloops, you're still an arc. Oh, Kylo's in a really rough spot. The math is really good on raised shots, so you really don't want her shooting at you, but right. the extra defense dice at least helps a little bit. Morgan's asking, how close do you think a three sloop is to going off the board? <laughs> that was one of my first thoughts, too, is that's close on the end. Um, nah, I mean, I, I don't play Vassal anymore, so... I think there's I'm plenty of that's room. That's a prediction. Plenty of room. <laughs> oh, God, if, if that's off the board, that'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then Poe really wants BB-8. <laughs> Man, three bank. I can't even visualize it. Uh, I, I, think I think there's plenty okay, of room. Though. Yeah. If I if I had to yeah. guess, if I was in that situation, looking at the three sloop as an option, I would just dial it in, thinking that there's w more than enough room there. I might even dial it in right, just be like, ah, I don't know about <laughs> left, just do the right one. <laughs> uh, with. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're both set, so we're going to find right. out. I'm really curious to see what he does. <laughs> Three forward. <laughs> okay, so he was worried. And that makes sense. He was worried yep. about That's why I said sure. I might have gone the other direction to be safe, because then you're still... he might have been off? No, I think he would have been on, right? I, I think I think the I think sloop... would have been barely on. Yeah, I think the sloop... But I, I get had... the conservative play. It makes a lot of sense. I don't have a piece of paper to hold up to the screen to tell me this one, so... <laughs> The best bet. <laughs> you, you're gonna make some kind of like cheat sheet for next time, Walker. As long as we can keep the aspect ratio and my zoom dead on the exact same every yeah. time, I can make a little I'm just piece gonna, of paper I'll have to adjust uh, templates that I can hold up there. <laughs> so Bun is asking Morgan in the in the chat log if he wants uh, him to arc dodge into Ray's shadow or side arc. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if Morgan's the player that I think he is, he probably is like, well, you're gonna take a shot from one of the other. Yeah, actually, Bun is saying that he's saying I'll I'll arc dodge Ray into into her side arc, but then you're just gonna shoot me with Poe. So right, but yeah, that's Poe what a good player has... would do. Poe's still holding on to a rocket, right? He's holding on to two, or two. torpedo, two of them. He's got two both. Torpedoes. He has both torps. That's a nice little end game move. So barrel roll out from Kylo. Is he gonna hard one to try to block two bank? No. Oh. oh man, if you didn't do the one bank, Morgan. Two bank. Uh, he's locking Ray and hoping for the best. Give me that one bank. Give me that one bank. One forward. Okay, I'll take it. That'll That's work. Also good. <laughs> I'll take it. The that rebel do. one forward to victory. The good old rebel slow roll. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Hmm. I wonder if I'll focus target lock here. <laughs> yeah, Morgan. Definitely a <laughs> rebel master strategy there. Just one That's forward right, to victory. Man. One speed to victory. You know how good the one hard turns are. The one forwards and banks are just as good. Yeah, and then he focus locked <laughs> Kylo. Yeah, Kylo's going to eat it. Oh, yeah. yeah it's so this is, for Bun, unfortunately, the absolute worst case scenario. Now we don't have the oh. bullseye arc. And he just rolled 
four. No, he didn't. He didn't roll four. He rolled a With crit hit though, and right? two focuses. So effectively <laughs> four. <laughs> I know what I know what Morgan's real strategy is. It's just hot dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's got then, those world's vassal dice. <laughs> bun, bun crystal rolled, and jade. Double, double evade focus. So spend a force and eat a crit. Yep. Feels bad. And that's his last force too, right? Yeah. And the right. crit is fuel leak. Ooh, ooh. All right, so Ray gets to shoot, but she doesn't get all her tricks. No. She just has the force, and just, that's it. So just the force, can, that's it. She can survive. Um, not if Morgan's going to roll like that. Uh, crit Holy hit focus. <laughs> <laughs> Spends a force for two and a crit. You just like throw your arms up here, right? Yeah. And blank, blank, evade. Oh, so fuel leak is going to so trigger. He takes, he's dead because he'll take one fuel leak in the crit. So yep. Whew. Well, that's what hot dice look like. That is definitely. Uh, but he still played really well. Like he still positioned very well. Yeah. So and Bun is taking his parting shot. Um, rolls. But yeah, he wants that. That's hot. Two hits, leave. crit, and a focus. That should do something. Spend the force, take two crits. Maybe he can get that chain of uh, direct hit, fuel leak. What was it? Where you can just <laughs> let it go? Yeah. He does take a direct hit. Okay. And. So she's at two hull left then? A panicked pilot. So two more stress. Oh no! Right. Oh, it shuts off her ability. How's she ever going to leave hyperspace? Oh, no. Yeah, so Ray, Ray ends on two hull there. Okay. So, and that was the end. They stopped yeah. the log. So, what did we learn from this game? <laughs> uh, hot dice beat good strategy every day. Yep, definitely. Or uh, hot dice with good strategy. The Rebel games. one forward victory oh, yeah. still works. Strong as one ever. One forward and one bank. Yep. Uh, and that the twenty seven bid wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> At least in this instance. Oh man, I can't believe that. That is just a, such a deep bid. Uh, also, bring your I sixes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I heard they're good. Um, but yeah, no, I, this was a this was a really good game. It was good to see ace players. It was good to see a two ship list. I, yeah. I just wanted to see one for a while to see what they look like on the table. Well, and and even overall, this was some really good ace play on both sides. There, a uh, lot of good repositioning with Kylo dodging some arcs. Yep. Um, really, really good to see. Yep. But then also seeing what happens if you guess wrong with an ace. What what can yeah. So, yeah. And that's and that's the isn't that the, that's always the danger. Just like with uh, Suntir Fell, you you can do well, but the second you make one mistake, pop. Yep. It is, but that's some of the fun, right? It's the right. challenge. It's the it's the, the risk games. reward. It's so much. That's part of why I like aces, and I think that's part of why I like Duncan and those guys like aces. It's yeah. just so much more interesting. Yep. Well, and we're and not so seeing the token complex. stacks either anymore as much. Right. I mean, you We're still have your rewarding skill yeah. versus, you know, the, you know, TLT and stuff like that was not rewarding skill so much. I agree. But I mean, Blair's, Blair's got a different set of skills and his skills are legitimate. Um, but yes, I, I think it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this was a really good game. I'm, yeah. I'm glad that they're doing this Aces League so we can do these high tier high quality games yeah yeah this is this is really nice to see and i'm glad scum and villainy is allowing us to use these to uh review and hopefully putting them out there so other people have more access to them because sometimes it's tough to go through these vassal logs yourself and just sit there and you know re-watch when you're just clicking buttons to see a game and putting it in a video format makes it easier to digest so in, in, I saw a, a question in chat that I want to talk about, but before we do that, we really should take the opportunity to plug Scum and Villainy's Patreon because like, I've been a member of that for a long time, but 
we really should support that because they run leagues like this yep. and that allows us to give you guys this content um and it's just a nice way of you know helping content creators so i think it's something to consider uh doing the patreon for scum and villainy and, and even maybe reaching out to ricky and letting him know that you guys are glad that they're doing these games um because then we can bring them to you as well but um i definitely can't say enough about supporting you know the content creators and i think scum and villainy deserves a, a bunch of credit for running this yeah and they've been doing it for a long time too i mean how long has just the podcast been going on i mean they're five years now they started when i started playing the game four some years ago yeah um and i remember playing on the vassal leagues when they were running the team covenant so yeah it's been at least like four to five years so definitely one of the long-term content creators and you know that's a good thing to bring up is just supporting content creators uh, as a whole in the community people that are bringing shows to you uh things like gold squadron doing all the live events or the podcast that all of uh, the different uh, groups are doing so yeah, um so chat had asked how these lists fare against a bunky south list um i think buns naturally is more equipped to deal with the swarm because he effectively has a crazy repositional ace that can respond to anything uh, the Poe Ray list, you, I mean, it can win, but I think it has a, a harder time. It has more firepower and flexibility, but I think I think they both can do okay, but you can't make a mistake, because if Poe gets trapped or something, he's going to pop, and Ray will burn down over fire. Um, but I, th I think they both can play against a bunky style list pretty well. So one of the things but it also we... depends too if he like castles more or less then it's going to be a lot harder to play against that list and speaking of uh, these lists against the swarm style or or what we're calling the bunky style what we didn't see out of poe was we never saw him use black one um that's no, a, a really didn't. powerful upgrade for poe when facing those swarms if you find yourself in a kill box you can easily escape that uh, provided you move pretty quick on your first move mm -hmm. yep and and that's you know that's another reason why i i still really like the bb8 idea because you can use black one with bb8 in combination in one turn and be in a lot of different places mm -hmm. that like your your opponent just they can't account for that so then they have to guess yep so do you think uh I don't know if you remember back from in first edition when we were starting to see some of these crazy advanced sensors, repositional aces. Um, the crates put out uh, a few different vassal charts with all the moves and stuff like that. Are we going to see that again, or are they kind of holding no. that close to the chest? Um, I mean, maybe. So the reason they did it was because Miranda was really, really bonkers good, yeah. and they wanted to prove it, and they weren't wrong. No. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't think Poe is like crazy busted um, in that aspect. And you can only do it once. I mean, the K wings and stuff could do it repeatedly. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you could put that together to show here are all the places you have to try to guess of where my Poe is going to be. Right. And just to show how almost impossible it is to guess. And that's why I was bringing it up is, yeah, I wouldn't say that Poe having slam once per game is anywhere near broken. I think it's actually a very good way to balance that. But just to be able to see with BB-8 and slam all of the different possible locations he could end up. And I, th I think it, it would be a, a pretty large area that you would have to try to cover to hit all the moves that are possible. Yeah. Yeah, resistance right. is looking good. They sure are. I'm ready to play them. Yeah. I've played a couple games now um, with two X-Wings and an A-Wing, and it definitely feels good. It's the the aces that us Rebel players, I think, we're looking for. Yep. Yeah, I'm thinking feels come January, that might be the, the play. If you're, uh, if you're liking some of this stuff right now that feels a little broken, it yep. might be a good way to move. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, I think uh, that pretty much wraps it up for tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. 
Um, if you like what we're doing, uh, you can find us on Facebook at Echo Base X Wing. Uh, also on YouTube, um, we tend to upload the videos within a day or two. That's also Echo Base X Wing on YouTube. And if, uh, like Kevin was saying, you want to support a content creator, um, so far you can subscribe through Twitch on our Twitch channel here. That helps us out a little bit. Um, we are working on some custom emotes. Uh, right now, we do have one up um, that is for the $9.99 per month subscription, um, and that is the T47 Snowspeeder. Um, for the, the Twitch Prime, um, we're going to be doing the Ion Cannon. So we're going to have a couple of those up. Uh, should be uh, the next day or so when um, Twitch actually approves the other one. Um, but thank you, everybody. We appreciate you tuning in and checking out Mission Debriefing. Yep. Have a good night, and Australian people have a nice summer afternoon. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I wish it was summer here. It's so cold. <laughs> oh. It's like, what, 3 o'clock over there right now? Awesome. <laughs> that, that actually brings up a good point. I don't know if we've ever mentioned this, but uh, at the reason we came up with the name Echo Base X-Wing is uh, we're in – Minnesota, so we are definitely deep in the heart of Hoth, and we <laughs> are hiding out in Echo Base trying to stay warm. Yep. <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody. Have a good night, and uh, we will catch you again next week for another live mission debriefing. Have a good night.